Hello all you gamers of the Haven out there, my name is Daniel and tonight I'm going to be playing something new, something amazing and something innovating. I'm a lie of course, because it, I'm playing I Love You Colonel Sanders. Sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. My poster. Oh my god, my poster. Shit, I want that poster now. Somebody get me that poster. I, I would put that on my wall. The world is peaceful and serene. You stay in the moment forever until you realize the butchering of all that chicken. Me meat is murder, bro. Or you can wake up now, 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 now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Smack that clock. <laughs> Sorry, clock at the. You slept through the school year and came up on a once in a lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. <laughs> oh, okay, let's try that again. Alright, uh, possibility. So you realize you're running late and you grab a biscuit and you burst out that door. I cannot take this game seriously. Yikes, you're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put on any deer on before running out the door. You're sweating buckets since you rushed to arrive on time. Uh oh. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. That is... That is a school. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever. Mirror me. Yeah, I can't say it. Green-haired chick. I don't know. She's the most adorably awkward person you ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Spoke. Talked again. I'm talking. Good morning! The light road. Zero, zero, zero. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Saying like, you say it like we're, we're together. Actually, um, because I sure am. I'm excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. Uh, it's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but when, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Hmm. Raised by Master Chef Perrin, she's always held herself very high standard. Of course. Ah, uh, ever since we were little babies playing together, you rescued me from that quick sandbox. It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. Quick sandbox? You mean a sandbox? Three day only semesters, I'm afraid. Three day only semesters! Three! Yes! Oh, a sweet girl Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer she got nervous. Uh, this summer she got nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Ah, oh, Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't be helped but filled with jealousy. I cannot take this game seriously. I cannot take this game seriously at all. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken chins. Chicken chins. Like it's an insult. 
You leave the light rose. The shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. Uh, actually, anyone here knows what a shin looks like. It's us. Uh, me. I know what a shin looks like. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. <laughs> I would pay Thomas to stream this. Ahem, Van Van? One sec, I'm just rocking my glutes as I do my hair. Oh yeah. I am the epitaph of the sex. Ah, uh, I, I know, right? You think they just hand us our diplomas now, or hire us as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. For the first day of school about to start, there's no time to properly tell. You must resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. <laughs> see you later, losers. As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window, directly next to it. <laughs> Okay then. Oopsie. I think it's broken. He reached forward and easily pulled the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. I think he means thank you. My name is Pop. I'm named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob. But I guess he's reading it upside down. With that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me or is he kind of cute? I think he's just like you. You must shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. His name is Sprinkles. Sprinkles! Sprinkles! Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? He must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of USC... Oh, US... Uh, UCSL. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute, little, and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Wolf. What a cute dog is our professor! This is the best culinary school ever! I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuisances of fine dining! Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you, and swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then... He walks in. The love of our life. The man in the apron. The great bearded king himself. Colonel Sanders. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. It's him. If it isn't my favorite student, Harlan... Carl Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Please call me... Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisles of desks. Suddenly... The room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you. And you're not entirely wrong. 
You turn to find the constant beautiful angel that he is stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. Boy, howdy, this classroom sure gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. Please use my handkerchief. You freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I, I, I can't do this. Oh, this, this is too hard. This is, this is way too difficult for me. Colonel Sanders is talking to me. Oh my god. Ah, wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you about how sweaty you look. You're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? Take the handkerchief. You stretch out your hand and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful you hesitate to press it to your face. But when you do, that feeling is transcendent. It has his natural scent on it. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. <sighs> You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Let that lesson be a le uh, let that be a lesson to you students. That tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student sprinkles is referencing who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. This game has to be made by Japanese developers. I'm expecting a maid to show up at any point in this game. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Chicken snack, of course. You reach beneath the apron and return the chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle size wide as he locks onto it. His favorite. Of course, it's a KFC game. Chicken is obviously the way to go. Unless you're living in Malaysia. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for a new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Ugh! I have to choose between my best friend and Colonel Sanders. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows a seriousness that makes him makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me the seat. I only had two rules. Do all you can to do the best you can. It's the only way you'll ever get the feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. A little off topic, if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you settle into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast! It's time for a pop quiz. Yay! A quiz about me! This incredibly important and surprising short quiz will tell me if you are ready to for life at culinary school. Keep your knife sharp and focus sharper. Here comes question one. If Train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A. How important is how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely looking at you, Pops. That's right. I work in restaurants, everybody should know this. Forest is to tree as chicken is to I was gonna say a slam dunk. Heather. That's right. What is the most effective eating utensil ever created? 
a comically oversized fork, a meat tenderizer, a spork. That's right. What food is best for a broken heart? Where is fried chicken on this list? A pancake that looks like a silly face, camel meat, anything as long as prepared with love and not too much salt. Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's a talking dog that teaches at culinary school. He's the best boy. Yes, total score is 5 of 5. Wow, be honest, did you cheat? You like to, to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. Ah! Oh, Colonel! You know what to do to win me over! Ah! Oh. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. But I... Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said shh. In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell... You hold your breath, waiting to see what food the mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this... Colonel Sanders lifts a bucket above his head, its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you. You begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Apparently fried chicken can transport me to another dimension!